Good evening. I'm Chris Macaluso filling in for Grant Boone, welcoming you to a very happy Moody Coliseum where the Wildcats of Abilene Christian won their 20th game of the season, 67-55 over Sam Houston State on a very emotional night. But before we get to the pregame ceremonies tonight, Coach, let's talk about your team's ability to accomplish one of the most difficult tasks in conference play, and that's beating the same team twice. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's really hard. It's, I think in our league it's it's super difficult because every team you face is really good. I mean, everybody brings their own strengths, their own uh, scoring weapons. And so this was a big win for us. Um, we had, uh, you know, so many people in foul trouble. We, we threw some different combinations out on the court today. I was really proud of the way our subs were ready to come in and make an immediate impact. They did a great job when we had uh, just about the whole starting lineup on the bench in foul trouble. Um, but uh, another great team effort. And uh, I, I thought that our team was really focused on team defense, on Beadle and Robertson, two of the most prolific scorers in the league. And, and it takes a team effort uh, to slow them down at all. And, you know, they combined for 40 on a nightly basis. And so I thought that our defense was uh, really focused on them, and, and that, that was helpful. Shernice Robertson, one of the leading scorers in the league tonight. She's 2 of 17 from the floor, missed all nine uh, three-point attempts and was 4 of 6 from the free throw line. She finished with eight points. Angela Beadle missed out on a double-double by one rebound, 17 points, nine boards. So, again, good team defense for the Wildcats against two of the uh, all-conference stars of this league. Uh, Susie Dimba, you were in some foul trouble tonight. Your subs bailed you out. But in the time you were on the court, great game, 14 points, nine boards, five of seven shooting um talk about having to sit down on the bench for long periods of time and, and seeing your backups come through for this team I mean I, I think it's really good for them to get the playing time and whenever the starters got in foul trouble they did a really great job finishing out the first half and just uh riding along and keep on going one of the subs we were playing paying close attention to tonight was Sarah Williamson we found out that her mom Sue Williamson has been battling cancer since last fall the GoFundMe.com page is up um, on her behalf. And even tonight, um, we did a nice pregame recognition ceremony for her. Not a dry eye in the house. Um, talk about Sarah's ability to focus and come down with four big offensive rebounds for you guys tonight. I think with everything going on with her mom, Sarah's done a great job of just persevering and still keeping the team first and along with her family. And she's done really good things for the team. Whenever she goes in, she always makes uh, good plays. And it's really uh, helped us out a lot, especially for a freshman. So we're really proud of her and just her how strong she is for her mom and her brother and her family and how strong she is for our team as well. Excellent. When um, the pregame ceremony was happening, Sue and Sarah obviously choked up on the court. I look over to you guys. A little misty over there, too. I look up in the crowd, and there's people hugging each other, hiding their faces. What did this night mean to you in terms of being able to do so, well, just a little bit for the Williamson family to kind of let them know that ACU women's basketball cares? Well, our, our, uh, our focus, our goal, our prayer for tonight is that the ACU community will respond and go to the GoFundMe account and help this family. Um, Sue's a, a tremendous single mom of three, and she's battling breast cancer right now. She's not able to work very much, and it's, it's you know, obviously cancer is just awful, and, um, you know, it's taken a toll on her, I think, mentally and physically, but, uh, man, she's been in a lot of games. She's been traveling with us on the road. You know, she shows up at, at on road trips, and, you know, just an awesome example of just persevering and fighting through adversity. Um, you know, it kind of helps you keep things in perspective when, uh, you know, our players, I know they think that they're tired and they're sore and that kind of thing. And, I mean, we're not battling anything like Sue, and she's just such a, a great example of, um, you know, just uh, doing what you have to do, just fighting through, uh, battling, and, and she's inspiring our team. And to echo what Susie said, I mean, Sarah's been quite an inspiration too. I mean, uh, it's it's hard. She's here. It's super hard to be a freshman in the first place, and to be a freshman – a uh, Division One basketball player is hard, and she knows that her mom's home and she's sick and she's not there with her. And so, um, you know, Sarah's been, uh, you know, just an awesome example of strength and courage for our team. Switching gears, you guys have this weekend off from competition, your first weekend off since conference competition begins. We know Susie has all the homework in the world. She needs to finish this week. What are the coaches up to, and how do you guys – 
plan to keep your team game ready for the game next week at Corpus Christi? Well, we're going to use about three days to just kind of purge mentally of all the stuff we've learned about the teams we've been playing because it seems like we have not had very many days to just focus on us. And so the next three days is, is just going to be about us. And obviously we'll take some time to recover, uh, probably visit the cold tub quite a bit and, and, and do some yoga and do whatever we need to to, uh, to get our legs back under us. And um, – uh, coaches, we're going to do some recruiting, and I'm going to spend Saturday supporting Wiley softball. Um, I'm going to watch Macy. My daughter's a senior, and um, I missed their first weekend last weekend, so I get to spend Saturday uh, supporting the Bulldogs. Excellent. Again, the final score tonight at Moody Coliseum, it was the Wildcats improving to 20-3 and overall, 11-1 and in the Southland Conference, 67 points tonight, Sam Houston State, 55. Bearcats fall to 8-14, and 4-8. and for Julie Goodenough and Susie Dimba, I'm Chris Mac Macaluso saying good night and go Wildcats.